The seated deadlift. The purpose of the seated deadlift is to train the movement pattern known as the hip hinge. This is done by activating the posterior chain musculature, mainly the glutes and the hamstrings, although isometrically the lats and the trapezius, as well as rear delts. Suggested population to perform the seated deadlift are usually performed by athletes age 14 to 64 with some form of physical activity or cognitive limitation that prevents them from standing. Examples are cerebral palsy, spinal cord injury, muscular dystrophy. However, many able-bodied individuals perform the seated deadlift as a partial range of motion or overload exercise for their upper body and lower body. The seated deadlift is performed by grabbing the barbell off the floor, initiating by pulling back into an upright position. Uh, this is done by squeezing the glutes, lats, and uh, uh, hands to gain grip. Uh, variations of the seated deadlift can be performed with a band for resistance, as shown here. It can be performed with a single weight plate or a dumbbell close to the chest. To increase the uh, difficulty of this exercise, the dumbbell can also be extended or far away from the body. As seen here, this increases the difficulty by increasing the moment arm. As well, the barbell, the dumbbells can be used off the floor, much like the barbell would be. Shown here next. Using the same uh, cues, you would lift from the floor and pull into an upright seated position. When assessing the seated deadlift, it is imperative to uh, start with a good starting position, have a good mid-range position, and a good lock-up position. <clears throat> a good starting position is achieved when the spine of the scapula or the back of the arm is directly over the barbell with a neutral or slightly extended upper back. A good mid-range position is uh, initiated by a good starting position, as this is just where the body will end up after the lift is initiated. A good lockout position is uh, achieved when the back of the arm is behind the barbell and the back is completely vertical. It is important when assessing the uh, seated deadlift that you watch out for rounded upper and lower backs as this has been known to cause the injury mechanism known as herniating your disc. As in here, um, this is hyperextension. This is also negative, although not as bad as hyperflexion, though this can still cause uh, laxity and stretching of the joints, bruising of the nerves, and subsequent micro uh, segmental level or disc ruptures in rare cases. Some teaching cues for the seated deadlift are protect your armpits. This forces the individual to uh, activate their upper and lower back, keeping their spine neutral, decreasing the amount of hyperflexion or hyperextension they will experience during the lift. Another cue that will work for individuals is shrug down. This is working much the same as protect your armpits as we are tightening the upper and lower back with the lats to keep them from going into hyperflexion, hyperextension. Adapting these movements can be done through um, variations of the lifts. This is done by accommodating for differences in strength, mobility, and limitations using different implementation, implements, such as a band, weight plates or dumbbells close to the body or far away from the body, dumbbells from the floor, and as uh, strength gets even greater, barbells from the floor.